kick your ass. She will, dude. Yep. See? I already had my ass kicked. Mimi! Let's go already. Oh, hi, hi. Yeah, yeah, I'll see you at home, I guess. Ignoring the bewildered Kensuke, Mimi cheerfully runs to her friends. She turns back about halfway. Oi! I forgot. Don't forget about your cleaning duties today. Get that bathtub squeaky clean. Bathtub? That's. Ah. Uh, uh. They have windmill things. This is the book Cowron wrote. I had Kensuke show me to the library. It's completely separate from the main buildings and looks like a real library. Isn't it weird for a school to be a, buy a book written by a teacher? Doesn't that keep students from buying the book? World end. The end of the world. The book seems to be the notion that Mihate Town lies between Earth and Hell. Somewhere in this town is a gateway to Yomos... Yomotsu. There you go. Yomotsu Hirasaka. Huh. What? What's this? Yomoshu something. Yomotsu Hirasaka is a hill leading from the living world to the world of the dead. It's said to be in the west. The world of the dead, huh? He seems awfully familiar with that stuff. Hey. Wait, I heard this on the radio. Radio? Oh, right. You wouldn't know. Hikaru Suki Kyoto. Kiyoka, there it is. Close the radio show, World End Syndrome. Started last spring. It was inspired by Cowron's book. The World End fan finally reached the radio waves. Oh, that program. I think I heard it the other day. I can't get enough Hir Hiroku. Oh, Hikaru. World End Syndrome. Uh, I get so excited I can't sleep. That whisper. When you listen to it with headphones, it's like she's breathing in your ear. Ugh. No. Man, I bet Hikaru's hot. Must be. You mean, you've never seen her face. Apparently, she's requested to keep herself hidden. But that only adds to the mystery. The imagination runs wild. Aren't you being too quick? To oh, wait. Aren't you being too quick to judge based only on her voice? I like her voice. Don't underestimate me, new kid. I can get somebody's personality from their voice, too. It's a gift. A gift! I see. Yeah. And Cowan's influence is really remarkable. Not only is there a radio program, they're making a movie. I wonder who's up for the lead role. I hope Cowan picks me. I think the protagonist is a female student, though. It's not unusual for a movie to change the main character's gender. No problems there. Cool. <laughs> what a weird game. After I have supper, I hurry back to my bedroom. I pull a book from my bag. Miyata Town, tradition surrounded by the sea. I check it out from the library. I flip to the back cover to find an old black and white photo of this town that seems to have been taken from a plane. I turn to the table of contents. Chapter 1. The Yomibito Legend. Definition of Yomibito. The Yomibito are believed to be temporary resurrections of the spirits of the deceased. When a Yomibito rises, the town faces misfortune. There are documents detailing past massacres. Or past massacres. It is thought that this is because the dead, once resurrected, murder out of desperation be alive once more. In any case, the existence of the Yomibito poses great danger to the town. Once one is found, it must be destroyed. On the other hand, a Yomibito is not aware it is dead. Once they become aware of it, they cannot stay in the world. Oh, that's how you kill them. They don't just disappear on their own until they become of that, apparently. Therefore, they also have no recollection of their deaths. I slammed the book shut there. This is nonsense, just some old fairy tale. I turn off the lights and slip into bed. Don't... Please don't do any jump scares. Hello. Okay, there's actually animation stuff. Sora. What is this, Kingdom Hearts? Sora. Sora. I jolt awake in a pitch black room. A dream. I realize that I'm drenched in sweat and wipe my brow. Stop! Why is that thing on? You shouldn't be chasing after death. It was the radio. I must have fallen asleep while it's still on. Where did we come from? And where are we going? There's no way to answer these questions. What? Feel it. 
the path is being shown to you. Realize. Realize that existence is supporting you. What if I'm dead? I'd have to be a murderer, though. New kid. I want you to, I want to know what you're made of. I jump out of bed and head to the desk. Take a pen in hand. What I am made of. I place a bunch of paper on the desk and start running my pen along it. Ah! Oh my god. If this is like six hours long, I'm screwed. I'm an hour over time! Therefore, I would narrow. A lot of people come to worship invisible things, and how do they apply that to life? Bible studies interpret them. Mas Yamarashiro! Isn't the Yombido supposed to rise this year? That's right. It said that this is the 100th anniversary of the Yombido tragedy that occurred in this town. The one who someone came back to life and then went killing spree, right? That was something else. Yeah, that one! Hey, wait! You sound like you were there to see it happen! Quiet. Or, quiet down, everyone. Stories like that are a dime a dozen. There's... Gashadoroku. Gashadokuro. Gashadokuro. A slip-mouthed woman. Ah! Oh, please don't slow show me a slip-mouthed woman. They scare me. But these long-winded rumors become legends, often carrying important messages within them. Bible study seeks to uncover these messages in other worlds. Hey, we're getting off topic. How'd we get here? Keep going, this is interesting! Nope. <laughs> Alright, after we pay turn to page 63. Oh, that's boring. Boring or not, here we go. Who's going to start reading for us? Mew, if you please. After a brief surge, the classroom falls silent. Mio Amana. She pulls out her seat and slowly stands up. I keep my eyes fixed on her, knowing this may be a rare opportunity to watch her. Her lips move slowly. The policies raised by Hideo Yoshi became foundation of the Edo period. This is where the modern period begins. Classic bell sound. And bell! Goodbye! Hey, did you hear it? Someone from the neighboring school committed suicide. The girl who went missing, right? There was a homicide, but they did they find it otherwise. Okay, she got killed. Huh? I heard it was an accident. I have a friend who goes to that school, and they told me. Well, I guess we never know for sure, but it's got, it's got nothing to go with us. Uh, bye, Miss Karen! Goodbye. Oh. What's wrong? I, lo I love that phrase in Japanese. I don't know why. Doshino? I, I don't know why that just sounds so good and so pleasing to the ears. I take an envelope from my bag and hand it to Miss Yamashiro. What's this? You wrote it already? Yeah. Wow, that was fast. Wait, you're kidding me, right? Hey, new guy! Shame on you for getting in trouble with Cameron already! It's not like... Oh, it's not like that. Then what? You're a reporter already? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Kensuke... Alright, Kensuke already looks surprised by the papers Miss Yamashiro pulled out of the envelope. I wrote a hundred pages? Never wrote a hundred pages in my life. This has to be over one hundred pages. Did you write this overnight? I sort of rushed it, so... It might be a little hard to read. Miss Yamashiro stares at me. Hmm. So, what's over the overall theme? The theme? Life and death are life and death are two sides of the same coin. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> She's gonna let me in their class. Or her study group, whatever it is. Are you really a high school kid? I've never seen anyone write an essay like this. Let's see, you're Miss Yamashiro stops abruptly. It's nothing. I'll read it. Good work. Thank you. Ah, you jealous now. The key to getting into the mystery club is passion, huh? You're quite the strategist. It's not like- or it's not like that. I don't know. I felt like the pen was moving on its own. 
Ghost was doing it for me. The pen on its own? That's automatism. Auto what? Automatism. Automatism is a phenomenon where you write messages unconsciously under the influence of the extra dimensional forces. Famous actors and songwriters often say they don't remember writing things. I think this is one of those situations. Hmm. You know about some pretty weird subjects. I'm starting to think you only ever thought about girls. Something similar happens to me too. I'll find a picture of a girl's butt on my camera that I don't remember taking. Nice. Kensuke, that's a crime. I'm just kidding, idiot. It's just remember Cowan's mentioning in class. Anyway, let me take you somewhere cool in today. The arcade? That Kensuke. He fools around, but he seems to be secretly serious about tribal studies. Asagi, don't forget you have remedial class next week. The score of four is the lowest in, in your grade, you know. I take that back. Uh. Ah! Let's get this demo. It's never ending. Ow. Okay. Also, this tips thing keeps showing up, but it doesn't actually do anything. A few boys and girls are heading around the school gate. Be exact, four boys are surrounded, surrounding a single girl. As I try to pass the group, please stop. So you can't oh, she looks badass. Ah, that's cute. Let's hang out sometime. I hope she kicks your ass. You're a freshman, right? You like karaoke. Girls like going out to karaoke, don't they? I'm fine. You look like you're bored standing there all alone. So you just try and be nice and entertain you. Oh, snap. It's full screen. I'm just waiting for my ride. Oh, wait, that, it's her voice. I'm just waiting for my ride. Ah, oh, your name's Saya, right? That's cute. Mm, Saya, where have I heard that before? Saya Nara punches him out. It seems like a bunch of older boys are asking a freshman student. The girl looks distraught. The laughter of the male students stings my ears. Oh, maybe we can help you with your homework? One of the boys grabs a girl by her wrist. Nope. Nope. Don't grab people by their wrists. Stop it! Let me go! Uh, she said stop it! That's adorable! It's time to knock these fuckers out. Hey! Kensuke! Hmm? Oh, am I, is he walking with me? Oh, leave him alone. I should... Hell no, intervene! Fuck off! What are you doing? Nanda. What? You say something? I did. I asked what you guys are doing. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, this is a soggy. Huh, damn, he jumped in. Hey! What? Am I doing something wrong? Haven't, haven't you heard the expression, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? Fuck you, you dad. Something's about to get broke. Their noses. Is that the right expression you're thinking of? Hey, what are you guys looking at? Go away. Uh, are you talking about us? Yeah, you're a junior, aren't you? you? Got some beef with us? Uh, they're seniors. Uh, no, we don't have any beef with you. Nope, nothing. Nice to meet you. Hi. Pathetic. No kidding. Uh, just go away already. Can't you see we're talking to this girl right now? She doesn't look like she's appreciates it. You don't know what you're seeing. Uh, her eyes. Oh, perfectly. My eyes are pretty good. Hey, idiot! What are you? Maybe this kid needs to be taught a lesson. The four boys turn around towards me and Kensuke. One of them keeps holding the girl's arm so she can't run away. Take go! I'll teach you both how to talk to upperclassmen. Kick him in the nuts! You seem to be playing with an awful lot of gentlemen, Saya. Dude, be awesome at ninjutsu! Come help me! Being surrounded by a bunch of young men like that, it seems like those... What do they call them? Hattori? Oh. I named him. Perhaps you think of the host club, sir. Ah, uh, yes, yes. But for a host club, these guys look like a pack of low-life kids. How's this guy? Spare, dude! Look at that car! Easy to drive a Ferrari. One of the boys points at a black foreign car parked in intimidatingly. Ooh, it's her brother. Fuck yeah. You're very late, brother. Thanks to you. I got involved with these dubious fellows. 
dubious fellows. The meeting dragged on. We needed to settle it before the London branch opens the... Kamishirodo would lose face. Kamishirodo? Kamishirodo! He's getting scared. That means she's... Saya Kamishiro. Are you going to release me now? Uh, uh, hi! The boy Kuzuki drops his hand from her arm. Anyway, we'll be going now. The four of them scamper away. Yeah, you do. See? Didn't I tell you? If it ain't broke, don't fix it! It's the unbreakable Kamishiro. The Kamishiro. You mean the snack maker? Man, you really don't have a clue, do you? The girl you tried to rescue is Ka Saya Kamishiro, daughter of the CEO. Thank you for your kindness. Who are these two? And why haven't they run away yet? He tried to come to rescue without my asking. Is that so? Well, thank you for that. My name is Mubu. Or, Mubu. Mibu. Kamishiro. Come by our hotel sometime and I'll repay you. Sick. Stop! New best friend. Ah! Really? Then I'll come by next! No, yeah, push him away. Ah! Uh, okay, this is the one who tried to help me. It's the gentleman over there. You. Hmm. Thanks. It's not much, but take this. It's a new Kamishiro product made with the Zetai Zetsume Panda. I'm fine. I don't really help her anyway. Hey! Remember, they're unbreakable! Hmm. I see. Sorry about that. Let's go, Saya. Yes. I'm glad you weren't hurt. To the car, please. Saya rushes towards the car. She suddenly stops and turns around and stomps over to me. Give me a high five. What? I don't owe you anything. No one consider what you did helping. Excuse me? Who's that? Who's Saizo? I didn't meet a Saizo. Seizo, whatever. Mibu Kamishiro made an unexpected appearance. You really get to see him in the flesh, you know? Oh, yeah? He's only his, tw er, he's only his 20s, but he's already slated the executive of Japan's biggest snack manufacturer. What's someone so high and mighty doing in Mihati Town? Man, you really have a long way to go. Kamishiro Do may be world famous, but it all started here in Mihate Town. Their HQ moved to a bigger city when they got big. But the founder's family still keeps them home here in Mihate. One minute. Uh, good enough. Mihate Town owes a lot of its livelihood to the Kamishiro Do. They have a lot of influence in town. Cool. But seriously, you've got some balls, dude. What were you gonna do if they punched you? I don't care about getting hit once or twice. Damn, you sound really cool! Crap, pushed it too fast. Well, we're getting a soundtrack. But let's go, this way. Save. Oh god, guys, I have to end. I have to. <laughs> I'm hour over time. I have no idea how long this is gonna go. I'm gonna... Pause. Good. Oh! Okay, I was not expecting a long end of game there. I thought it was like a fighting game or something. I don't know. I just kind of went through the Nintendo eShop and saw anything that had like cool art or was highly rated or whatever and just downloaded anything with demos kind of thing. Um, crap. I don't know what to do because tomorrow that KFC game comes out. I definitely want to play that. Um, however, I also don't want to leave this game hanging, so... Wait, does the KFC game come out tomorrow? Or is that Friday? KFC may get, game may come out Friday. If it comes out Friday, then we'll just keep playing some demo games and maybe I'll just finish this one tomorrow. Figure out what it's about, but... I don't know what's going on. Like, it's giving me some horror vibes. Maybe I'm just so scared of playing a horror game on accident that I'm psyching myself out. That is quite a possibility. So that could be happening, but I don't know. Uh, but we'll keep playing some demo games tomorrow. 
Um, let's see. We have uh, we have a bunch of demo games we can play. So maybe the, hopefully this one will be finished up by tomorrow. The demo at least. Um, and if I like the idea, maybe we'll buy it at some point in the future, or if we'll just keep it installed on the Switch so we know that if it's something worthwhile, maybe add it to the wish list so I can remember in the future. A bunch of new games just came out. Uh, Link's Awakening just came out. Uh, Divinity Original Sins 2 just came out on the Switch. I'm not going to get that yet because I own it already on the platform. You're with the five bitties! More for the lumps. Want some lumps? Want some bitties? Bitties for the lumps? Hey, you already think of all the bitties. Mamas! Mamas want a bitty? Where's the hippo? Come here, hippo! Yeah, now you come over. Come here. Yeah, you are. You think of all this bitty. Thanks for the babies, my dude. Um, but we'll keep playing. Um, we'll probably just do switch demos all through the week as long as they last us that long. Um, the KFC one, maybe we'll have to play it on the weekend because if it comes out on Friday, wait, is Monday the thirty first or something? Let's see. Ah, so if it comes out on Friday, we can play it on Monday. I don't know how long it is. Maybe we'll finish it. Um, if not, we'll have to decide what happens. But Scream Tober starts up next week. So, I gotta prepare for that. Um, hopefully I will get the new stream setup area done this weekend. I already have the chair and the desk built. Um, I have more stuff coming in tomorrow. And then I gotta spend a weekend getting, you know, everything all hooked up and retested. And probably the mic reset up with its filters, the camera's placement. And I, I gotta do a lot of finagling this weekend. So, uh, we'll probably do that. But be sure to get your votes in on Discord on which uh, scary games you want to see. If you have not done that already, you can multi-vote. Uh, you just react appropriately to the post, and uh, your, vo your votes are cast. So that'll be it. Uh, I, I like some puzzle games. It depends on how puzzle-y. Like, if, it's the, if that's the entire thing, then I usually get bored. Um, holy crap, we're now over time. Uh, and I need to upload all those VODs. Uh, check out. I don't much have. I think I downloaded a demo of that. It at least sounds familiar. Because I laughed at the name. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, I got a demo of this, actually. Um, there's a demo of this on the Switch. And, no, I didn't get a demo because then I, I was looking at the pictures. I thought about it. And then I saw the picture of all the million lines and how things were linked together. And I was like, that looks a little too overwhelming to do for a, a stream game. I'd actually have to dim or like dedicate an actual time to it. But yeah, that, there's a demo of that on the Switch. I don't know. That, that could be something we could always just pick up again, too. Because it looks very... um. It looks just like, not Prison Architect, Pharma, Big Pharma. Big Pharma? Is that the name of that game? Not the one, uh, Two Point Hospital. Uh, yeah, this looks like a lot like Big Pharma. Hi, 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 hi. Yeah, we have a Oh, snorts. But, yeah, so... That one's interesting. It, it looks just like uh, Big Pharma. I wonder if it's made by the same people. Because a lot of the resources look similar. Hermes Interactive. Oh. Mm. I, I, I heard that snorting. Oh, you're stepping. Ow. You're stepping on me. Ow. Okay. Ow. 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 Okay, I thought I would. It looks just like that game. Am I ready tonight? Nah. I think uh, everyone's already headed out. So I'm heading out too. Hi. Oop, that nose. Oh, thank you for them shakes. I need to go eat too. Shit. Uh, I ate a little bit for stream, but now I'm an hour over time. So I'm gonna have a fun time going to sleep. Poor foods. Anyways, my friends, I'm gonna end out here. Uh, because we are way over time. We're going to keep playing these demo games. Maybe figure out where this one is going tomorrow. Other than that, we have a ton of other games to play. Uh, I think I got like 50 games at least. So we'll go through them and see if 
I like any of them. There's a couple we played today that were really fun. Um, so I may, I might just buy them, um, outright and play them at some point. I don't know if I'll play them on the channel, like the Ape Out one. I don't know if that one would be fun to watch a full Let's Play or a live stream on, but I don't know. That, that could be a game that we could just play for goofy fun end of stream stuff too. So I, I need more of those. Anyways, my friends, thank you so much for tuning with me. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let me know what you're liking, what you're not liking. But more importantly, you remember to spay new to your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to rescue, support it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and races out that are very much indeed. Anyway, I'm invasive. This itchy one here is Jida. Get the best ear itches. Oh, we got flashy lights. Yuri saying goodbye. Oh, look, I found a spot. Oh, I found a spot. He's pushing my hand into the couch because I found a spot. Oh, you want some bits? You want some bitties? You want some bitties? I just found a spot. Oh, you, you want some bitties? Yeah, I want some bitties. Give me a shake. That's a good shake. You want a shake? Yep. Come on, give me a shake. There you go. There you go, Hippo shake. Hippo just kind of drops her hand in your arm. See? Thank you so much for those bitties. Delicious. Delicious bits. Nom, nom, nom. The tongue hanging out. <laughs> Why is she doing that? I found a spot right now. It's just giving me itches. Oh, she's grunting. It's just, oh, she feels good. It's just, yes, yes, yes. There you go. Anyways, this one is Jaida's. Mama's is down there chomping on her new toys. Thank you so much for tuning in with me, and I will catch you guys next time. See ya. Get him, get him.